The biggest ticket in town in March, South by Southwest, is getting a new teammate, South by Sports. It'll be three days of sports-focused events and panelists geared towards the interactive and film lineup with storytelling and sports. Running from March 7th through the 9th, there are already some interesting names added to the panel lineup, including author, web editor, and NBA analyst for ESPN, Bill Simmons, sports writer and statistician Nate Silver of 538, Peter Gruber, chairman of Mandalay Sports Media and part owner of the Los Angeles Dodgers, and from Lubbock, Texas Tech head football coach Cliff Kingsbury. Chronicling the changing face of this event, this mini sports conference will be another extension of South By's transformation. Only starting in March of 2011, South By Southwest Education, 4,500 registrants were part of that conference last year. And that even brought out a keynote address by Bill Gates, who spoke about technology and learning. Next year's event will be March 3 through 6, and will kick off the South By festivities. A week from now is South by Southwest Eco. Only around for about two years now, Eco looks at environmental issues facing the modern world. That one begins October 7th at the Austin Convention Center. And this summer, South by actually went on the road establishing V2V. It's a conference in Las Vegas geared towards entrepreneurs. Originally, this event started in 1987 as a way to get bands noticed to the entire music industry. Starting with 700 acts, organizers last year had more than 2,200 showcasing acts. Film and Interactive were both added in 1994. Last year, film had 133 features screened. Interactive had more than 1,000 conference sessions. So, what does all this really mean? Well, just a few weeks ago, South by Southwest released a new study showing the record-sized festival and conference crowd added more than $200 million into the local economy last year. That's up $10 million from the year before. Just six years ago, the event had a $95 million economic impact. The big change at the top is the man with the vision at Longhorn Athletics. Call it quits today. His timetable for the university moving forward. 